Hello everybody, welcome to the Play In Preview. Um, if you don't know anything about it, there's a 56 man tournament with various crazy rules and scheduling, but the point is we'll go from 56 to 14. Those 14 will join Artemis and Chunter for the 16 man final. And in the booth with me is one of the fellow competitors, the man, the myth, the legend, Eliod. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. So yeah, let's get straight into it because 56 teams may take a while to go through. So let's let's get straight into it. We've got Andre here. Uh, mm -hmm. We all know he's a very good player, Ooh. isn't he? Um, he's spicy. Yeah. He's I was going to say it's just lizards, isn't it? But <laughs> it's not quite. <laughs> no, it's not quite. He has he has a frenzy, a frenzy saurus, and five blocks. That's his team, and everything else is oh 12 players. So he's gone for the 12th player rather than the third reroll. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the flex, basically, in the roster, isn't it? Uh, that's the only flex in the Lizardman roster, is whether you take the 12th player or the reroll, and you're probably going to take at least four block, and then there's like a little bit of flex for like guard on the crocs and wrestle or whatever, isn't there? In a, in a Soros, maybe yeah. or a frenzy in this case. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm on the six block play, but yeah, fair play, fair play, whatever. Like, like you, like I say, you've got most of the block in anyway, so it can go a bit crazy with the last one or two, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I personally, I would always go six block as well. Yeah, but there, yeah. there is a chance, right? There is a little bit of flex for personal flavor. So uh, yeah, yeah. What? Any any thoughts? No, yep, yeah, fairly standard with a little bit of spice, right? Got the chameleon as well, which is fair enough, especially if you've got the the extra skink. So yeah. Yep. Obviously, Andre, great coach. Oh, want, oh wait a minute. So we could drop the chameleon skink down to a normal one, and then he could have a then he could have had a third reroll instead of the apothecary, couldn't he? Oh, no, so he couldn't because that... the rerolls are seventy. Yeah, the rerolls are seventy now. Right. Yeah. Forgive me. I, I thought, forgot about I thought that. that was the plan. Drop the chameleon for the reroll. Yeah, I, I guess you could have done, but eleven yeah. men is very eleven very exactly. Few. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't like that personally, but yeah, that is that is the other option. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was a bit slow. Right here we go. Second, another mm. another great coach that everybody knows. It Ooh. is Andy Davo, and he's gone with orcs. Uh, fair, fair, <laughs> fair. Orcs. And the frenzy uh, orcs, because he's got a frenzier again. Oh, and, frenzy! Another, oh, he's even called them frenzy. He's orcs. called them frenzy. <laughs> orcs, yeah. Fantastic! I'm bad. Fake. Great. Good. Good idea. <laughs> yeah. There's a, <laughs> there's a frenzy. There's two guards uh, on blitzers, two guards on biggins, and a block on a biggin. Mm. Yep, troll, troll foe as well. Yeah, no goblin. Three wheels. No goblin now, yeah. Uh, yeah, fairly standard, isn't it, really? Like, you, you can... I always feel like you can kind of do what you want with orcs, right? In terms of, like, block, guard, mighty blow, right? Just just mix those two up a bit. And obviously, he's got the, again, the slightly spicy frenzy, but, yeah, fair play. Yeah, I guess that's his, like, replacement for mighty blow and tackle, right? It's all three, yeah, it's all, yeah, it's yeah, all three yeah, and yeah. one. It's all three and one. It lets you surf. It gives you more knockdowns for more injuries, and it gives you more, you know, yeah. slightly more knockdowns than not tackle. So, and it's not useless. Like, obviously, tackle in some games completely yes, useless. Yes, yeah. Mighty yeah. blow a lot of the time doesn't do anything, whereas frenzy you can use for positionally. So it's mm -hmm. it's you know I I often went frenzy and naff when I uh, the very few times that I played naff I always considered yeah, naff uh, I always considered frenzy on, on a blitzer and it, just because it does as you said you know as I said <laughs> combine tackle and maybe, uh, rubbish versions of both but it's something isn't it three rerolls no apple so it is a little bit light right twelve players no mm. apple um, but the three rerolls is nice. Right, it uh, is for sure. Archibald, I don't know Archibald. Um, hmm. I imagine he's Spanish. Archibald taken? Yeah, <laughs> has, has he taken a picture of his screen? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yep. <laughs> and uh, this is human. I think it's. I think it's French. I think he's French, right? Uh, uh, or uh, maybe a moment. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, looking at the names of the positionals, it sure looks yeah, French. Yeah, yeah. It looks French, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, what, we've got Block Ogre, Might Blow Tackle, a couple of guards, Block. Pretty standard unit, isn't it? Uh, having the Mighty Blow and the Tackle seems a bit, you know, egregious. Like, maybe you could go for an extra guard there, right? Obviously, some people like the guard on the Ogre as well, right? Mm. So, not as much guard as a unit you might have. 
No, he's got. He's used his double for the block ogre, mm, hasn't he? He has, yeah. And lots of people like that. I, I personally don't because I mean, look how much TV it is. One eighty TV. You've whacked on that unreliable player, and that's what I don't like about putting blocker. But but loads and loads of people love it. I think if you've blocked your ogre, then that really behooves you to go guard on the blitzer instead of mighty blow because you know yeah. you, you've you've got to block mighty blow blitzer now. So. You don't really need a secondary one, do you? I think, but um, yeah, 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 that's a point. Yeah, yeah. Apothecary three re rolls, thirteen players. You know, pretty pretty durable for this uh, overtime format. So yes, big bench is pretty cool. Yeah, interesting, interesting. And uh, two catches in case one gets hurt and stuff. And of course the thrower. Uh, so yeah, pretty decent. Yeah. And now we've got Arzawain. Um, <laughs> oh, no, no, knobs? Is this knobs? It is, yeah, yeah. It's it's hard when the when the positional names aren't in English, isn't it? Yes, and, yeah. and the skills make not much sense. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what has four stand for a vessel? Oh, <laughs> uh, oh no! Oh, it's the sneaky gate. Yeah, okay. Um, leader. Yeah, double. He spent his double on sneaky gate. Yeah. Wow. I like I like sneaky git, but I don't really like it as a double. Yeah, yeah, it, it always feels a little bit anemic as well without the dirty player. Right, like you really want the dirty player in there to give it a bit of give it a bit of punch. But you know, it can obviously do do plenty of work by itself. Uh, two re rolls, okay, plus leader, no apo. Thirteen men is a lot, but you've got those rubbish armor seven peasants, right? Unlike the humans, so could be a little brittle. But five guard is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that's very nice, isn't it? Tier four were uh, imperial mm -hmm. ability, so they did get a lot of uh, a lot of skills, and uh, you know, even using a double, he still got a lot of skills, hasn't he? So it's uh, yeah, it's very interesting. He's got the tackler, he's got the dodger, uh, the two the two blitzers. So yeah, yeah, interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm. I nearly, I just nearly choked to death there. I don't know why, randomly. And you would be forgiven for choking to death looking at this team here. Um, this is Ash Rain. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dark well, I, I, I'm, I'm sad I didn't draw this person. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> No offense to him, um, you know he qualified for the planes, and um, so obviously he did he did well in the season. But uh, yeah, two assassins is not what I would do. Yeah, and he's even skilled them as well. He's given them dodge, hasn't he? He has. Now I'm I'm probably not as anti assassin as you are in, in in progression and stuff. And I know that like in the past, like assassin have, has been like sometimes people take it in the dark elf uh, naf stuff, don't they? I guess it like fits the fits the cost nicely and that kind of thing. And now even compared to the last rule set, they're movement seven over movement six. With all that said, <laughs> it's completely insane, obviously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, maybe maybe he's thinking, like, you know, it's going to be full of underworld riot. I'm going to be stabbing snotlings all day long, you know, <laughs> this kind of thing. Yeah, but it, it seems a uh, like, e even if you're taking two assassins, right, having them skulled and not the blitzers seems really bad. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah like, surely you've got to skull the blitzers over the assassins. Yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Even if they're both dodge, you know, like, because, uh, uh, what's he called? Art was saying he, he he always likes at least one tackle blitzer. I don't know. I, I think with mm. two frenzies, you know, yes. if you've got one with Agreed. block, one with wrestle, I think you don't really need the tackle as much. And I'd Agreed. I'd rather be spamming dodge. But, um, yeah, this is it. Two re-rolls, one up, 11 players. It's going to be a bit, it's going to be a bit risky. Yeah, risky. that's the point with elves, right? Yeah, and obviously this elf team, even more than the other dark elves, he's got four armor sevens, so mm -hmm. even, even more um, adaptable. Yep. Uh, all right, and <laughs> here we have flip the Tories is the name of the team. Flip the Tories. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. <laughs> ben Baggins. I do like Ben Baggins. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he has he has given up the he's given up the reserve for the third reroll yeah. and yeah, gone with the yeah, standard yeah. six block. I think that's fair, right? Uh, I mean, you, you can do either way, can't you? But yeah, this is this is fair. Cause it's it, the, the reserve is always a little bit sadistic. Cause it's not a source anyway, so having yeah. the extra reroll is cool. 
Yeah, yeah, and he's, and he's got the Apple anyway, like if he loses a Saurus. But the problem that this roster has... But then the other roster has it too, right? Over time, you're a bit too stretched on both, yeah. right? You either yeah. give up the re-rolls, yeah. so you're likely going over time with one or zero re-rolls, or you give up the bench so that you're, you're likely to go in with, you know, nine or ten players and, and either it's pick your poison. It, they, they just seem a little bit light for overtime format specifically, I think, yeah. Wizards. But it's still obviously a super, super strong race. They are, they are. Yeah. Uh, oh, now he is Boopiff. I don't know how to pronounce that, but um Oh my god, it's another one! <laughs> oh my god, another double is, is is this is this a thing? Like are we are we are we wrong? <laughs> is, this, is this the French meta? <laughs> if this is almost exactly the same, except there's one more dodge on the blitzers which I which I like. Yeah. Uh, but I'd still prefer both dodge on the blitzers, right? But yeah, I guess in terms of like the actual players. You're just trading the two assassins for the two liners. Do you get anything? Do you get anything by dropping the two assassins for two linos? I, no. I'm guessing not. Yeah. No. No. That, apple, was, the no re-roll. that was the problem. Yeah. You had to drop the blitzer. You had to yeah. have three blitzers to have yeah. a third re-roll, which which I liked. Um, yeah. I, probably. Yeah. So I guess he thought yeah, two yeah. re-rolls is so uh, is so uh, slim, isn't it? Two re-rolls, eleven players. Really. But, but rough, yeah. Man. I've, Fair enough, like maxing movement sevens, yeah, but, but yeah, it just uh, makes it even more flimsy, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, well, there you go. It seemed to work okay now, can't they? Oh, yeah, there, there is mm -hmm. chat. Sorry, I just I had to set this up hastily because we're a bit pushed for time with uh, with playing with playing tournaments, you know, playing our tournament games, casting our games. And C Bros asked, why aren't you showing the draw first? The reason is, of course, this is four rounds um, for some people, and it's kind of done by Swiss, so it's not like a, just a tournament bracket that you can look at. Um, they're good. There's going to be a bunch of games played, so I think it's better just to look at the whole, look at all the teams first, and then we'll look at some good ones for the round, and then next round we can pick out some good games, and next round we can pick up some out. Well, probably all of them, right, for the final round. Um, so that that's that's why this is just all of the teams, get them all out of the way in one go. Um, but yeah, you know, look, look, we're not table toppers, are we? Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, if this is this is the done thing now, I mean, you know, maybe they're really good at stabbing underworld or something. Um, but they don't get the stunty, do they? Still, I'm pretty sure they still don't get stunty on the uh, if they like, you know, if they were to stab a goblin or a snotling. I'm pretty sure stab is still ignore all modifiers, so it, they wouldn't get uh, the plus one. What? What really? It used to be. It used to be. In, really? In, wow. In, in, in CRP, stab yeah. ignored uh, modifiers. Maybe it doesn't anymore. Maybe they get plus I, one to stunt. Yeah, which yeah, I, that I, makes I, them I don't know. Yeah, I never I never thought about that. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, then whether it does in Blood Bowl 3 or not is another good question. Right. And then here's yes. Call Troop. Call Troop, of course, was the uh, was the other finalist in the NAF event. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Again with the uh, split, well, obviously it's split, uh, but again with both the tackle and the mighty blow. Uh, mm -hmm. This time does have guard on the ogre though, unlike the other human team, right? And so no, no double at all here, right? Yeah, yeah, he's, and, and I prefer that. I prefer my, I prefer guard on my order. Honestly, I prefer yeah. a guard on the mighty blow as well because yes, agreed. Yeah, yeah, I, I think if you if you want to go for like a dumb attrition blitz. Get a three D in with your ogre and then be you know take the one in six chance it doesn't happen you know and, yeah um, I think you know the tackles are much more essential right to be able to hit annoying pieces uh, block throw is sensible isn't it like there's nothing nothing wrong with that at all and the same with a block catcher it, it, it is we only got one catcher thirteen players didn't the all the human team have thirteen players what have we gained uh, yeah we've got two um, we've got two assistant coaches so he just mm. he just oh, didn't want. Fair. A catcher. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like, it's not like, um, in all situations, better to have a catcher, right? Like, your line is a strength three and the and the better armor in this version compared to Blood two. Mm -hmm. So, you know, fair enough. But, but yeah, you'd, you'd think a second one would be nice if just for a backup if nothing else, especially the two bench, right? Yeah. If, you, if you want to bench it, you can then, right? Yeah, yeah, I would, yeah. And if it gets hurt, like, you know, it's, mm -hmm. I, I would definitely, I would definitely like the option. Plus, like, you know, if you're trying a two turn, have a couple of catchers. Yeah, you know, yeah, humans. Yeah. Humans have, have got a really good two turns sometimes, yeah. and with yeah, only one yes. catcher, they, it's a bit worse. <laughs> those, those times being, if you can roll three pluses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and like you just, you know, if they haven't been banged out, obviously, yeah, they, sure, they, sure, you know, sure, if, sure. if they've got a full team, and, and then and, you know they're really fast, aren't they? They're a lot faster yeah. than some teams as well. So, 
Yeah, but decent team, decent human, and obviously humans is what got him there, and so he's he's stuck with them for here. And we've got sea brawls. Uh, wait a minute. Lizards. Yeah. Oh, he's got a sneaky git. Yeah, he's just dropped a block and taken a sneaky. Yeah. Right. I was trying to work it out. I was like, I was like, uh, I was about to say he's taking guard on the crocs, and I looked at the crocs, and I was uh, like, no, he hasn't. Uh, <laughs> And he's gone for the 12th player rather than the third re-roll. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it make, makes a special sense with a sneaky get, right? Yeah. And, uh, you can always go off the pitch um, by himself. Uh, yeah, fair play. Look, sneaky gets really strong, isn't it? So, you know, it is understandable to, to pick one up. Yeah. Gives you, a, gives you a bit of a high roll as well in, in, in a kind of tournament where you're going to need to high roll at the end of the day, right? You know, so. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, even even if you think you're the best coach in this tournament, yeah. you're not that much better than like loads of the people in it. <laughs> yeah. So sure. it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a very, very close, close tournament coaching wise. So, yeah, I think there's nobody that doesn't need to get lucky to win. It'll pretty much the majority of their games <laughs> so, so why not lean into that and go with a yep. you know a, something that has the chance to steamroll mm -hmm. um absolutely all right chambi here oh but he's gone for a more as we would like to say okay. a sensible <laughs> option yeah 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 12 players yeah 12 players is cool no no apple though i guess is the uh the yeah. but then at least all your blitzes are blodged so they're difficult to hurt anyway right yeah, so yeah, I, I I like this one more than this last one. Yeah, yeah, he could he could have taken leader on the thrower. Um, uh, K Fogg's talked about this a lot, and he says the problem is if you take leader on your runner, you find yourself using it when he fails a dodge. <laughs> you could have just had dodge on him. <laughs> yes, yeah, I remember him say that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, it's already all sorted, Dio. Um, yeah, so so that that is interesting, and I think. It's more that he's just got the runner because he's got the points for it, right? It, it is a bit faster. Yep. He, he could have just taken an assistant coach, but I guess yep. he's lent into the speed a little bit more. And seven move seven is is pretty decent, right? It and is. The, it is. The yeah. dump off potentially good as well. Yeah, and and the three plus passing because you know they're yeah. not the greatest one turn, but with the two witches, you, you've got a decent shot at the one turn if your opponent you know you know can't or doesn't set up great. And uh, and and getting the ball to the guy who's one turning is difficult with four plus <laughs> passing, right? So yeah. move six, four plus passing. So I mean, I'll get you, but so I guess on move seven, but a little bit better to have the runner. Yeah, and and even two turning, like you know, it, it's yep. deep yep. kick, deep you, kick. you're gonna yeah, probably yeah. have to make a pass to score, so. It is something to consider, like, you know, although we all yeah. poo poo passing in general. Yeah. It, all, it's necessary sometimes, isn't it? All these shitty throwers have become slightly <laughs> more valuable in uh, <laughs> these, these kind of things. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. There's Chambi with a decent, a decent, uh, oh, a, a, a kind of a standard, shall we say, Dark Elf team. Here's Crucifer. Yeah. Ooh. Nabil. Knobs, knobs. Knobs. <laughs> Wow. He likes knobs. <laughs> he likes knobs. <laughs> okay, I like this more uh, than the other one. Um, yeah, six guard. Yeah. Two blodgers and a leader. Oh, wow, yeah. This is, this is pretty cool. Yeah, I like this. I like the guard a lot more than the sneaky git. And then, yeah, just spam that guard in. And then spam dodge rather than, like, one dodge, one tackle. Just yeah. give your opponent problems rather than have answers yourself, I think is... I think there's a lot of value in that because obviously you might not have the right answers for the right match. Like tackle looks pretty rubbish against orcs, for example, if they don't have mm -hmm. a goblin. Whereas the dodge is suddenly great, isn't it? Because they don't have tackle. Yeah. So, yeah, I like I like this a lot. This team. Yeah, this is cool. Thirteen players, three rules, no apple, and yeah, as you say, as you said before, thirteen it, players yeah. with all walls, armor seven. You you might yeah. end up down players. Again, a little flimsy, but. At least he's got the, 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 the extra dodge helps a little bit with that as well. And and the guard helps with that as well, right? Yeah. If the guard compared to the sneaky, A, you're less likely to be getting blocked, and B, you're not getting your own player sent off. So it is, mm. it's more solid than the last one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And great great to see Cruz back in as well. That's nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Furniture. <laughs> yeah, 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 I like that. <laughs> um, hey, well, I recognize these skill icons. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Diamond here. Orcs. Um, I actually guess it was orcs because of all the animosity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, surprisingly annoying. I had it trigger a few times yeah. for me and I, I was like absolutely bamboozled. Is this game broken? But no, uh -huh. you know, animosity does have an effect sometimes. Hasn't gone with a troll and has oh, used yeah. that extra money to get himself an app or three re rolls, 12 players. Yeah. 
I think I like this more than the troll version, honestly. Yeah, um, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it seems more liable, like like you, you yeah. have the extra extra bits that help, and the troll itself is obviously quite reliable. Yeah. And it's like, do you when are you gonna need the extra strength of the troll? Right? I mean, okay, the lizard matchup. <laughs> other than that, you're gonna be the strongest team, right? So. Yeah, especially with just this four guard rather than going block. Yes, yeah. Rather than going block, uh, Biggins, he's gone guard ones and then a mighty blow on a tackler. The, old, the classic mighty blow tackle split. Obviously, without a big guy, that becomes a lot more a lot more yeah. sensible, I think, when there's yeah, no big yeah. guy involved. And, of course, Diamed was like about... He was top of the ladder for like 99% of the season. Oh, no, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, but, you know, there was no there was no need to be top, right? You know, sure, like, he sure, was top sure, and then sure. in the end, Chundra and Art made their pushes at the last minute. And, and then he, he, unfortunately, you know, just kept get you know kept spinning into Art and uh, with Claw and, <laughs> sure. and then, uh, you know, coming up just slightly short. So he ended up, he ended up falling away in the end. But it was a great season for him and obviously he stuck with Orcs in the, uh, in sure. the play-ins as well. And here's Dion Lord. Um Ooh. Who is who is very good at orcs, isn't he on tabletop? Yes, He's yeah, yeah, yeah. Orc they, coach they... <laughs> on tabletop. He's just gone uh, lizards. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. Yeah, six block. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, six block, and again he's gone the the reserve over the reroll. Yeah, fair play. It's interesting, isn't it? Because like twelve and an apple is quite a lot. Is quite sturdy and two rerolls. Yep. But you've got six block. That's the thing, right? You've only got two rerolls, but you've got six block, and all of your skinks have got dodge. They have, they have. Uh, only way to lose a lizard my game, though, I heard someone once say, is failing to pick the ball up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It does feel like that sometimes, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> you know, like I, I can't remember how many Law TV lizard man games that I've lost, but I'm, I'm sure a lot of them involved repeated failures to pick up the ball. <laughs> and it's, as long as you get the ball in hand, but again, that's versus a lower level than what we'll be facing here, right? Like the, the lower average level yeah, in, you sure, know, matchmaking. Sure. Definitely than, than this. So there are more ways to lose than just failing pickups for sure. You you have got the kickoff return or whatever it's called, the on the ball, on the chameleon as well yeah, for potential cause... free catchers. Yeah, hey, that's honestly that's. Do you know as much as I've forever poo pooed chameleon skinks, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's that's a pretty valid point. Giving you an extra four plus to to get to start with a ball isn't terrible, yeah. is it? And obvi right. obviously, again, if you're going for a two turn, that three plus passing. Oh yeah. Yeah, a skink passing on a three plus, no malice from Stunty, of course, anymore. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, they've they've got that. Um, and plus, like on a one turn, they're two squares faster than a skink, and on a two turn, they're one square faster, aren't they, with the on the ball? So, um, so it, they do actually end up faster on a one and a two turn attempt. Mm -hmm. So, so they've got that going for them. They're not they're not completely terrible. <laughs> um, you know, I have poo pooed them. I think. I think as a twelfth man, especially as well, because yes, then exactly. you can you can bench them on defense and stuff, yeah, and, and bring them in for the for the two turn attempts or one turns. So yeah, pretty pretty nice team there. And honestly, this team is my primary reason for dismissing Orcs as an option. Uh, Art considered them, obviously. Dave has gone with them. Um, mm. I ju and Dion Lord, but I just think they lose think lizards. Lizards are just better, aren't they? Yeah. Look, look at yeah. this. Look at yeah. this. <laughs> Four. Um, Right, Dumadan. Oh, that's a witch elf. Good, good. I'm glad that because I looked at all of them. I can't read the names. I can't read the skills. <laughs> but we've got a picture of a witch elf there. Oh, so this fantastic. Is, this is dark elves. <laughs> um. So we've got twelve. Have we? What have we gained from dropping the other witch? Um. Oh. 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 We've, we've, yeah. 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 Oh no no! Yeah, it's, it's, blitzer, right? yeah, he's got a blitzer. Or, or, yeah, he's got a blitzer. Yeah, he's got a blitzer. Yeah, yeah. So you drop the blitzer or the witch. Yeah. Uh, and you have the spicy sneaky git, which is fair enough because you only got five positions anyway to skill. Yeah, and you've got a reserve. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fits so... well. And, and elves love the love the fouls as well, right? Because elves being up players or even even players is amazing for them. So. Yeah. Having having an elf with some removal power is pretty great. Yeah, yeah, you can just uh, yeah. I think I, I, as you say that the high roll in this environment, it's mm -hmm. it really is something to consider. You know, you're not gonna, well, you might, but chances are you're not gonna be able to win this just playing solid 
you know, doing yeah. safe moves first, yeah. you know, ABC, it, like ABC Blood Bowl, right? Like ABC Poker, yeah. you know, it's just probably not going to get you through versus the highest level. And obviously not just high level, also very high level of variance with, with you know, low team oh, yeah, and low sure. skills. So uh, I think I think that's a yeah, n- nice team there, you know, and offers you wrestle as the witch because you've got four blitzers. Yes, good. Oh! What, what do you think about this coaching team? I think this is probably the best. <laughs> <laughs> I should have seen this one coming given it's alphabetical, but I didn't. <laughs> uh, why, it's the best best team in the game, best coach of the game, easy peasy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all uh, you can I, say no, about I, it. I, I, I disagree, actually. I think it's the, I, I think it's the best team in the game. Um, I, I, I pretty much, I know, it's hard, right? Hon- honestly, Rauga, maybe. Maybe it's that Ogre, you know. That's the big, that's the big, uh, like, uh, decision point, right? You know, I think decision point number one was Rao Control, obviously, and number two is uh, do you stack the Blitzer or the Gutter? Because I think you stack one of them because the skills on the other players just aren't worth as much. Like, you're kind of a foul, I guess. But, uh, I'm not too bothered. Like, I've got extra arms on my thrower, right? That shows how much I care about the other yeah, skills on the other players. Really leaning into the one turn there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, though, like, an extra three plus sucks, right? So, it does, yeah. 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 And he, he can do other things, so he can catch the ball and that kind of stuff. So it's <laughs> it's kind of garbo. And I'm, I can't believe I'm picking extra arms on a player. <laughs> it's insane, right? But yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Yeah, I talked I talked to Big Kev a bit, and uh, you know, because I was I was talking, and K Fog is not in the tournament. He he recommended a wrestle uh, a wrestle clan rack. Yeah, fair, and, fair, uh, fair. And yeah, mighty blow guard on the blitzer, uh, stack the gutter was was his. Was his, okay, uh, cool, cool. Was good his thinking, know. but so this is interesting because there's no there's no inducements at all. So you know, no. this is uh, this year is a is a big thing, right? Because obviously, if there are inducements, then maybe you do go rogue and maybe you take some bribes or whatever. I, you know, I don't know, but what what's what's happened here is <laughs> we've gone <laughs> with the reason. What well, not the reason. One of the reasons to take the troll is for more snotlings, so you can make use of swarming for longer. You know, a lot of rosters were just going four snotlings, and if you go four snotlings, you've got a good chance to not be able to swarm as much, right? Um, yeah, so you're getting more value snotlings. from swarming with these guys, and you get to go up to five rerolls. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of rerolls, isn't it? You can have a reroll for every single action you make on your one turn. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. And yeah, for overtime, that that could be crucial, yeah, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah, oh, to you, right? Yeah. Mm, very nice. But I'll, shall I shall I point out the big weakness with your team? And I hope you rectify this. Okay, okay. Because you've on. got a chance. The team is called Pogler. Every yeah, player yeah. should be called Fymir. <laughs> oh, I should have called them Fymir. I, we we have to keep the same team name. I guess that we can change the, the player names like that doesn't matter, will it? <laughs> yeah. Pogler says, yes, please, there you go. Or like, maybe like, find me as thighs, find me as pecs. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty hilarious. That's pretty hilarious. Find me as biceps. <laughs> so yeah, that, that, is a, that is a big flaw with the team. I, 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 I hope you're, you're, you're happy with the, the, the strongest point of the team, which is that I, I have the knobhead troll. Yeah, I, I think it's okay, like... It's interesting that you've you you know you're leaning the one turn a little bit with no, the no, re- sorry I mean I mean like the troll the actual knobhead troll. All oh, right, oh it's the actual knobhead troll and you've yeah, even yeah, previewed yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, amazing, yeah. amazing, yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> that is fantastic. I love it. I didn't know this is the preview, but that yeah. is brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> amazing. So yeah, the, the troll and the troll. It's interesting that you've lent the one turn with the uh, with the extra arms and the side step. Uh, and yet not the rogue, yeah. stacked and not the roger, but I think yeah. it's okay because there's only really un, uh, imperial nobility that can stop it, right? Re- yes. Reliably, and there's not that many imperial nobility teams in there. So, uh, well, I was hoping for like none, but <laughs> not only there were some insane people. <laughs> yeah, well, look, tier four, tier four. Uh, yeah, I could link. Yeah, the, I'll fair, link the rule pack in the description, but. Um, Tier four for all world alliance and imperial nobility made them pretty yeah. pretty uh, interesting choices if you're comfortable with playing them. That that was the problem. On paper, they looked great. Uh, yeah. I, I just wasn't sure I'd be able to get the most out of them in yeah, playing sure. them. Was was the big thing. Oh, oh wow! And from one legend beginning with an E to another legend beginning with an E, <laughs> we've got we've got Inarian with black orcs. Yep. Um, well, <laughs> yep. Um, two t- two tackle seems a bit excessive. I guess is my first thought. 
Yeah. Um, you, you get lots of bench, which is nice. So your advantage compared to lizards is that you're a bit more stable, I guess. Right? It's like maybe yeah. slightly less prone to the high roll because of the big bench. You know, three rolls. No, no apo still though, so it's not like you're fitting like tons in. Um, oh. But all, all, otherwise, you, you're just worse lizards, sadly, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lizards would, would have eleven plus an apo. So they, 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 they basically, yeah. if you if you say the extra player is the yeah. same, you've got two more players. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, you've got it. You've got it. You've got a sneaky gate. You've got block on your big guy. Um, the problem is you've taken minus twenty-two movement off the yeah. pitch. <laughs> that's that's a full tree man team, people. <laughs> yeah, there is a, this team is lacking a full tree man team of movement, uh, and obviously that explains the tackle, right? Because if you're versus elves and stuff, they're going to yeah, run, that's they're going to run absolute rings around you. So, fair, so you fair. know he's going to have to get these tackles in the right place and. Uh, Use them to knock over blodges if he gets drawn. Some of the teams with blodges in. You do have brawl as well, right? So block slightly devalued. Yeah, slightly, very yeah, slightly, very slightly. <laughs> but it'll be interesting. I, I believe he qualified with black oak, so he thought he'd use them in the mm. thing, and it's fair enough, isn't it? It's yeah, it's yeah, interesting. Yeah. It's it's cool to see all the different races, right? Like it yeah. would be a much worse. It would be it would be a so much worse tournament if it was fifty whatever underworld teams. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. And uh, oh, well, here's another imperial ability team. Speaking about the one counter to Ooh, the one wow. turn, here's wow. Fantas. Pretty worried now. <laughs> get that back. We'll get back on. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Ooh, this is a bit fruity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, frenzy. Yeah, I mean, frenzy's an attack. Blitz is fine, isn't it? But oh. Oh, wait, is that... Oh, that's Tackle. Oh, wait, I thought it was Dirty Player Bodyguard. No. It's a Tackle. Tackle Bodyguard. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I got a Rackler. I, I, I don't like not maxing guard right on the blockers. I think you'll probably agree. Yes. Uh, and then a leader thrower, yeah. And fair. his double's gone on the Ogre for blocks. That's another yeah. guard he hasn't got. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. He's got three guard compared to Cruz's six. Yeah, that's a <laughs> pretty big difference. That's twice as little guard. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, he's got more tools, right? He's got more tools. He's got the frenzy. He has, he has. He's got the rackle, and uh, he's got a dirty player that can high-roll people. So, um, mm -hmm. so yeah, it's it's not just worse than Cruz, but I would prefer... Yeah. You know, I prefer yeah. Cruz's build, six guard. And, and, again, it's got the dodge to ask questions rather than, like, the frenzy to answer them and the rackle to answer them. Like, you know, stick six guard in people's face and let them yeah. solve it. Don't You know, I think... I, I much prefer asking questions to trying to answer them in in NAF style when you, you, you know, everyone's got such limited resources. Yeah, that's fair. And here we've got Feel Good. He, I knew he was going Black Oak because he was talking about them in a... Wait, no, this is just Orcs. It's not Black Oaks. He just... Okay, so he, he said he was going Black Oaks. <laughs> But it was a cunning ruse. What, what a troll. <laughs> <laughs> because, because these are orcs. <laughs> okay. They are orcs. They are orcs. Yeah. So, Mr. Thrall. Uh, Mr. Thrall. <laughs> Mr. Throw. No troll is what I was trying to say. <laughs> Four cards. The might blow tackle. Play. Apo. So this one gets the Apo over uh, Dion Med's uh, build, I guess. Yeah. Did Diomed's not? I think Davo went with the troll, right? And I think Diomed didn't go with the troll. Oh, did he not? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think, think Davo was the then, troll. Yeah. Because it's seventy, right? Like you've got the two, you've got the two um, assistant coaches, and the Apo is seventy. So you put that onto a lineman, you get a troll. Ah, uh, okay. So, so I think that's the difference there. Four guarders total. I quite I, honestly, I prefer the, the the mobile guard rather than yes, the same. Uh, same. You know, it could have even gone two guard, but I think that's. I think I, I like at least one more bow guard, yeah. And then the tackle might split, yeah. Yep. Decent team, isn't it? Nothing, mm -hmm, nothing, nothing sure. groundbreaking, but solid. Yep, absolutely. All right, now this is Gabby Yass, I imagine, um, with lizards. <sighs> Why is the one skink right down at the bottom? What's wrong with that skink? <laughs> I guess that's the bench, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it guard cocks this time, right? Um, Yes. <laughs> Plus the five block. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. I, I was bamboozled there. It's funny because the sea bros, I expected the guard crocs. This time I was just trying to make sense yeah. of all the icons and I, yeah, I was lost. Uh, I was uh, completely uh, lost. Thank you. Thank you, Elliot. <laughs> yeah, guard crocs. It's pretty standard, isn't it? It's pretty standard yep, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, gone for the reserve rather than the third reroll. And uh, yeah, guard crocs is. Pretty tough. The the thing the thing about the, the the guard crocs loses value 
in that uphilling big guys is much better now mm, that they point. don't have the mighty blow on the hit, right? It's it's yeah. actually safer to just uphill them than it is to get hit by them. So yeah. uh, that's that's somewhat interesting, but you know, it's still okay. good, right? The lizards. Yeah, and more, and more often now to better uphill them and dodge away as well, especially against the crocs, obviously. I mean, you were probably uphilling the crocs anyway, how did their tail compared to dodging away. But, yeah, so. yeah, but but now you'll just it do it for the hell of it. Now you'll yeah, do it for yeah, the hell of it, because sure. it's sure. safer than getting punched by Mighty Blow. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I can get three dice with Mighty Blow, or I can uphill him away, or whatever. So yeah. yeah, I think that's interesting. Even just one D's are like more valuable, right? You know, less scores, less bad. Yep, yep. He is Galencho uh, with his Pro L's. I think he had. I think he had Pro L's in in Era BB. Um, ah, yeah, I am vaguely aware he likes Pro L's. Yeah, yeah. Top top second division in Era BB. Uh, so that makes him fourth seed for the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> completely, oh, wow, nice. completely niche information, but there you go. Yeah. That's what I know yeah, about Galentio. Yeah, 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 <laughs> and he's got uh, tackle, dodge, 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 wrestle, yeah. sneaky, get. sneaky, get. Yeah, twelve players. Mm. It seems a bit. I, I don't know the fact that. I mean, it's the only like movement eight elf team you can get in the game, right? So. But yeah, it's, the fact that the Dark Elves can get 12 players as well me, makes this seem thin, I think. Yes. Yeah, I'm yeah. not... I'm really not such a fan of this. 12 players, no apothecary? Yeah, armor 7s mostly. Uh, it's uh, And a sneaky get, so yeah. It's yeah. A, bit, a bit thin. Over yeah. time, they do not want to see. No, yeah, this is going to have to be get in, get out, win mm-hmm. it. Pretty quick. <laughs> Pretty quick. Um, he's going to be on a clock. Now we've got GVTM with light humans, humans. Uh, oh yeah, humans. Uh, uh, have we seen this build before? We've seen something close. Exactly uh, the same. Yes. Uh, it oh exactly no, no, same, it's yeah. not. It's no, not double, exactly. double block on the throwers, right? On the catchers. Yeah, yeah. It's not exactly oh, the same. That. The other one had a block thrower and a block catcher and a, ro- yeah, and a rookie catcher. So it's near. It's the exact yeah. roster. A lot of people have gone this roster. It was only uh, a yeah. call troop that that. Ditched the uh, second catcher, didn't he? Yeah. Cold Troop ditched the second catcher. But yeah, 13 players, app or three rerolls. Very consistent, isn't it? Yeah, Very, sure. very consistent on men. And now with two blocked catchers, the, the weak link of the armor seven is protected, both of them. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, nice. yeah. Yep. <laughs> Super interesting. <laughs> and now here's Hiramizeo. Ah. Ah. Uh, Got dwarves, good guy oh, dwarves. Oh, dwarves, dwarves, dwarves. The good guys, the heroes, everyone's <laughs> favourite. <laughs> Who would go dwarves that way? Just my blood troll slayer. Oh, so, oh, double troll slayer, here we go. That's the first sort of interesting part. Double troll slayer. The most interesting dwarf build you'll see this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's it's interesting. It's very interesting. Um, and it looks like he's only got the one runner. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. I guess he can't fit the second one in with the two troll slayers. Um, I think he could, oh, which he? is why I'm oh, really? a bit bamboozled. Mm. That yeah, he... weird. Yeah, yeah, he definitely could have done. He definitely could have I... done because he's got five k spare and he's got a cheerleader and an assistant coach. Because... I guess he just doesn't want that much armor on the pitch then. Yeah, I guess so. Because I did consider it. I because you know he's got his three rerolls and his apo and twelve players, and then once you've mm-hmm. got all that, you don't really need the fourth reroll, right? I don't feel like yeah. getting the fourth reroll on top does you that much. Um. But then I didn't really want to go with two troll slayers, and I didn't want to just waste uh-huh. twenty five TV. <laughs> so, sure. so he has gone with wasting the twenty five TV. Um, you know, well, not wasted, but he's got an assistant coach and a and a, and a cheerleader. But he's wasted a little bit of TV. Um, but you know, he's got the block runner. He's only got one runner, but it's blocked up. You kind of have to block up your runner if you've yeah. only got one. I think um, yeah. four guard and a mighty blow slayer. But uh, yeah. it's interesting. It's interesting. What one? Uh, I think moving one of the guards from the long bridge blitzer. I think like the mobile guard. Yes. Yeah, I feel like the the guard blitzer is just better. Yeah, I would yeah. never ever not guard both blitzers. Um, but yeah, I'm sure he's got a reason for it. I guess mm-hmm. secondary ball carrier because he's only got yeah, one, so he doesn't yeah, have to point. fight yeah. with it. Um, doesn't want him in the in the in the melee. Yeah. 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 I guess that's the rationale. Right, now we've got Hubbin Hubbin with Green Elves, which we all know is going to be Orcs just from the name, <laughs> even if you don't know <laughs> anything else. Um, yep, there's Orcs. Yep, um, more Guard. So this one has the Troll. 
and the thrower. Oh, leader thrower. Okay, so three rerolls. So, oh, 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 so this one has the apo compared to Andy. This one has the apo. Yeah. And it's taking the leader to, to only take two rerolls. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, this, this mighty blow tackle blitzer pair is so common across the orc. Yeah, it is, isn't it? They all like this. Um, and the guard troll. I, they're quite, I think if you're going to have the troll putting guard in it, it's like good, right? It's got strength. Yeah. Up. But then, on the other hand, of course, it's it's 115 TV that sits there scratching yes. its bum a fair amount of the time. So do you really want yes. guard in it as well? It's, it's a tough choice, isn't it, whether to put skills yeah. on a big guy. Um, yeah. I think teams where it's their only source of guard or, or one of their limited sources yeah, of guard. Yeah, the humans, yeah. You have to. I think you have to. Even if you can put block on instead, I feel like, personally, I just I just need that guard. <laughs> I need the guard. <laughs> and, uh, but here he, he could have just put it on a, a blitzer even, couldn't he, for a more mobile uh, guard or a, or a big and for a more consistent guard. But he's gone for the yeah. strength guard. Ask, uh, ask bigger questions of dislodging it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Jimmy Fantastic. Oh. Ooh. Take it away, Elliot. <laughs> all right, Dwarfs. What have we got here? Two runners this time. No troll size at all. Two guard on the blitzers. Three guard on the bids. There's a, there's a mighty blow. I remember Dio once saying about the mighty blow overall, but it allows you to be slightly lazy. So <laughs> there we go. We've got uh, five guards mighty blow into the Dwarfs, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> four rerolls. Oh, four rerolls. Four, four rerolls. I know Jimmy was saying that he didn't think the fourth rerolls had much. I, I, I really like it, to be honest. I, I think I really like it, especially in the OT. I think, I think four rerolls is great. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I, I mean, I'm not going to take anything else on the team, but in the end, it's not yeah, bad. it's not bad. It lets you, it lets you one die Saurus, doesn't it? A bit more, you know, like lets <laughs> yeah. you, lets you be a bit more adventurous GFI. Do, do a million, yeah, do a million GFIs, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's certainly interesting. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a, a bad team in any way, as as long no. as they avoid the lizards, which we've already seen quite a few <laughs> of. <laughs> we have, we have, and and the orcs as well are not are not nice either. No, they're not because the orcs have taken more guard. So yeah, mm. and the move five begins now. Oh, oh. It's ridiculous! It's ridiculous. ridiculous. You know, it was, it was bad when they were stronger than you in the same speed. Now they're yes, holding yes. faster exactly. than you. It's, exactly, it's exactly, exactly. Awful. <laughs> it is. It is pretty awful. Yeah. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'll just say a little thing. I changed. I took the block off the runner because I thought I've got two, and I, you know, uh -huh. I obviously I thought people might be going lizards and stuff, and I thought I've got two rerolls. I didn't think the block really had any impact, so yeah. I thought with the double runner, I don't have to protect the runners as much. Give me more guards. So now, you know, I mean, I did win the play-ins with uh i don't know the planes the naf thing with only three guard so now i've got five guard and like the lizards aren't much better right like if you think uh, of the, that tournament yeah. the lizards they get an extra apple um it's not that much you know getting an apple and they get one more block well they've already had five from five six to six block isn't much whereas three guard to five guard is huge so i thought they would actually be significantly better than they were in the in the naf thing so yeah happy with that honestly but Never mind. <laughs> right. Kian Dare. Imp knobs. Imp oh my god, there's more of them. <laughs> uh, the block ogre, dodge tackle, uh, four guard. We've seen a very similar one, haven't we? I think uh, it might think. be an exact, you know. This might yeah, be exactly yeah. the same. Yeah, I can't believe how popular the knobs are. What the heck? <laughs> it's Dimmy G's a trailblazer, isn't he? Apparently, apparently. <laughs> He's he brought actor. the knobs to the people. <laughs> now the people are eating them up. <laughs> they really are. I mean, that's the thing. The, the, the tiers, tier four was, it was a bit too low, right? Probably tier three for Imp Nobs and tier three for Oa, and then like put the Chaos and the Nurgle in tier four, but they were kind of yeah. like flipped around. Yeah, having, having, were, were Chaos and Nurgle above Nobs and OWA? If, if so, then that seems a bit off, doesn't I'm it? I'm pretty sure Renegades were, yeah. I can't remember exactly, but I'm, I'm sure like, just... at least Renegades were tier three. Okay, fair. Yeah. Sorry, I, mean, I could the, be wrong. Because the, the, the big, the strength forecast in particular, just terrible, aren't they? <laughs> completely <laughs> terrible. So. Yeah. yeah, but uh, yeah, this looks exactly the same as a previous team, and obviously Kian Dares, uh, he was a substitute entrant, um, but uh, you know, we, yes. all, we all know him as a, a veteran goblin coach, so uh, uh, he's got a lot of experience with an absolutely rubbish team full of armor seven, so he should be pretty yeah, dangerous. With <laughs> Glorious. Um, oh, here's Coley and X X X X X X X X X X X X X X Black Orcs. Yeah, Coley likes his Black Orcs. Yeah. Only twelve players. 
Oh, man. But gets the Apo. Wait, but... And he's got four fans. So, so yeah, you, yeah, so sorry, you, you can't trade the goblin for the Apo, right? You have yeah. to trade two goblins for an Apo. Yeah. Uh, and then a load of, <laughs> a load of <laughs> assistant coaches. <laughs> Yeah, that's ooh, that's a that's a big that's mm. a big trade, isn't it? He's just gone all guard as well. Yeah, yeah. I, you, you got the baller, haven't you? The block is devalued. Wow. <laughs> the block is devalued. That's <laughs> wild, isn't it? Six guard. Yeah. And... Honestly, I'd I'd a half been tempted just to go six mighty blokes. I mean, man, you need to hire all you need to hire all everything you come across. <laughs> just take six mighty blow and try and bang everything out. Oh, man, I wouldn't have minded seeing that, but uh, yeah, this is gonna it's gonna be fun to watch this game. Uh, this team player, we'll see if I yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, it will be, it will be. I mean, Cody knows what he's doing right, so he'll no doubt do something good with it. Yeah, yeah, very good coach, and uh, maybe he qualified with Blackhawks as well. And uh, yeah, maybe you know there was a, there was a lot of them about to be fair, and you know I guess people like them. They're a bit new, aren't they? A bit different. Uh, mm -hmm. But this is pretty. This is pretty uh, fragile, right? With only twelve players, but uh, yeah, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. And I've got. Oh, the guard. There. The guard combo to the sneaky get. Sorry, there we go. Oh you can yes, do some absolutely gigantic gang fouls. Oh god, yeah, the grab. And the and the guard, yeah, he'll uh, just, yeah, he'll, oh yeah. my god, he'll be, yeah, he'll just be stomping people to death, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and, and in fact, honestly, that makes you want to go fourteen more, right? There's more reason for him to go fourteen. Yeah, than, yeah, than, yeah. Than, than, I was going to say Elio Denarian, um, yeah. because Denarian, you know, the the fouling isn't as good as his because he's got all the guards, so his fouls are just mm. better. So yeah, you'd have expected him to lead more into the players with going with the guard and the fouling, right? Um, here we've got uh, Dark Elves. Again, we've mm. gone for the three re-rolls. 12 players, no Apple build. Yep. Five positionals. Got the Tackle Blitzer this time, uh, yeah. which is which is fair enough, isn't it? I think, I think like you, I prefer the dodge, especially with the Witch. But I guess you only got one Witch this time, so the Tackle makes a bit more sense. Yeah, I'm surprised. I don't understand. I thought you could have two witch owls with this build but he doesn't does he, no. he doesn't have any money left over so this you is... have to drop a witch or a blitzer right oh he's got have... four blitzers yeah yeah he's got four blitzers but i thought yeah. he, i thought that's what i'm saying i thought it was one or the other but apparently it had to be a witch elf oh oh, oh, oh that's 90 saying... that's what's that is that a f... uh? why is that 90 tv because it's got a skill i don't understand oh so oh no so you couldn't drop a blitzer you had to drop a witch elf yeah, yeah, I guess you had to, yeah. Hey, Trotner. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's weird, so... Yeah, yeah I'm surprised. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We've, we've got to keep moving. <laughs> but yeah. he's, he's gone He's gone kind of keep more of a more, more of an art build, right? He's gone with the wrestle. He's gone for the tackle and only three yeah. dodges. But only four blodges is, is pretty light, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. pretty light. And, it uh, is. And he's pepping for the dwarfs. Yeah, wrestle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, hey, dwarves are dwarves are the only thing that's probably like really, you know, favoured, and they're not that favoured against you anyway. I guess, I guess, underworld are as well, but um, it's more easy yeah. to be worried about dwarves tackling you. I guess <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah, El elves do pretty well against underworld as well. I think, uh, like, yeah. you know, be better than you, you kind of might expect. Yeah, fair enough. Right, lock region. Oh, another dwarf player. Lovely. Uh, oh, it's not quite. Okay, so we've got a bit of a mix of you and the other dwarf, right? We've got a 12 Slayer with Mighty Blow. No, two two runners, not blocked. Uh, yeah, both Blitzers guard and then an extra Mighty Blow on the... An extra Mighty Blow on the the uh, the, the, the beard. Two, two Mighty Blow seems a little bit, uh, you know, luxury, luxury skills, but uh, fair play. Yeah, and again, the three coaches, this is this is the problem, like, you do give up. Mm. You do give up, like, you've wasted 25, essentially. Like, you, you can't, you can't, you're always left over with one assistant coach. Yeah. So he kind of wasted that 25, so he, he dropped the, the fourth reroll to get the Troll Slayer. I think if you're doing that and you're getting the, the, the Mighty Blow on the Frenzy, then you probably do have to drop the... But it's really good having a Mighty Blow Tackler for, like, you know, Snotlings and Goblins yeah. and Elves. It is really nice having a Mighty Blow Tackler, I feel, so... Yeah, that's fair. It is pretty. It's pretty rowdy having two mighty blow, and you know, it, again, high, leaning in the high roll, totally fair in in this kind of field. You know, this, there's some good coaches with some good teams, so it's uh, you know, it's completely understandable to lean in on the heavy mighty blow. I mean, it's not that heavy either. Is it? It's just one, <laughs> just one extra one. Yeah, sure. Good afternoon, Dibby. 
Hey, the Dimrath and Chunter Hallo. Uh, we, won't, we won't see Artemis and Chunter's teams here. They did submit their teams no. at this point, but they don't have to play in the play in, so that they're yeah. not getting covered at all, uh, their teams. Uh, right, this is Mad Jake. And these are orcs. Uh, tackle mighty blood blitzers. It, it got a block. I, th I first blocked bigot maybe, uh, or me. I'm misremembering. I think uh, it has I think the goblin. Andy had I two. first. Sorry. I think Andy had two. Ah, did he? Okay. Oh yeah, m mixed them didn't he? Uh, yeah. Uh, and then yeah, our first goblin though. I think. Yeah, uh, I think so. Troll, troll, troll goblin combo. Three rerolls. Yeah, I don't have the goblin, right? Like, it's a bit of a shame to have the goblin and the throw because now you have to have a throw or a goblin <laughs> on your defense. But, uh, yeah, fair play. You can carry one of them. Yeah, yeah. And it, this is probably better in, like, a non-overtime format where you're less likely to have to field the goblin yeah. when you don't want to. Whereas now, you know, if you're in overtime and you've got 10 players and one's a goblin, you're like... Mm. But it does give you the throw teammate option, doesn't it? And... Uh... And it's still a it solid does, yeah. team, isn't it? It's still a solid team. Yeah. Very solid. Matt Jake, a big pro elf guy, wasn't he? So it's a bit He was, yeah. yeah a bit weird to see him on Bash there. It'll be interesting. Yeah. I guess Maybe he... he's one of the hate elves in uh, in twenty twenty people. Or, or maybe he just recognises that for the overtime format they're probably not great. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, like, you know, people are gonna do what they think's gonna win here. There's there's yeah. five grand uh, worth of prize money on the line, so I guess f playing favourites isn't such a big deal. <laughs> Though of course comfort with a team matters a lot, right? Like this this was uh we you know, we both dis we both uh, thought about going old world alliance, didn't we? But uh, <laughs> neither we of did, us have played did, much yeah. with them, I don't think, and <laughs> I really had no idea how I was gonna play the team. I just knew six guard and a sneaky kit dirty. Yeah, yeah, it was insane. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> sounds pretty good, yeah. <laughs> And, oh, speaking of Old World Alliance, I, this isn't it, is it? Oh. It is it, is it? Uh, no, yes, yes, T uh, yes. two halflings. <laughs> oh, but no, but it's got a, it's got an ogre. It's got an ogre. Yeah. Um, so yeah, not yeah. I like the tree, but yeah, we've got an ogre. Oh my, there's just such a big mess of skills and stuff. <laughs> Holy moly! Like I, I play Blood Bowl three with these skills as well, and it just looks horrible, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Guard, so guard, guard, but uh, mighty blow slayer. Two guard blockers, not long bids. Tackle yep. human blitzer. Um, block thrower, block catcher, dirty player, lino. Fif 15 play. Oh, fifth. Oh, two re rolls. Two re rolls. Yeah. Okay. Gone for the extra bench. Yeah, this is interesting. Not how I would have built them, but uh, yeah, it's, there's loads of players, isn't it? Maybe he's going to go foul heavy. And yeah, I guess so. Three guard, two mighty blow. Like, there's just a lot of skills in there at the end of the day. There's a, there's a yeah, lot of there skills. Is, there and is. It's, yeah. it's, it's a weird one, All World Alliance, because it's, kind of, it's kind of a bit rubbish. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a bit rubbish, yeah. <laughs> but if things work out, it's pretty good. So, you know, like, maybe it's yeah. a bit high variance. Like, you know, one of the, they always seem pretty good on paper when they get a good package, but then it's like. How do you play yeah. them? How do you play them? And how do you deal with all of these loner guys? And then your your long yeah. beards aren't actually long yeah. beards. Oh, That's God. the biggest one. If they were long beards, you know, yeah. it turns out Armbar doesn't do anything, and Brawler <laughs> not quite as good as block and tackle. <laughs> 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 so there you go. So there's Mising anyway. Um, oh wow, this is uh, Mr. Page obviously <laughs> taken from his stream here. Uh -huh. He's got his subathon oh. number in the, <laughs> car, in the top That's corner right, there. <laughs> um, yeah, Mr. Page is has this... gone with Underworld. No, this isn't this. This is the third Underworld team we've seen, isn't it? I think. Uh, it could oh, is be. it just the second one? I think it's just the second one. Yeah. My oh, God. Uh, so yeah, Jugs Roger. I was I was surprised we didn't see a claw on on the Roger or or the Blitzer. Uh, yeah. yeah, two heads got a uh, block thrower, a couple of vessels and a, and a DP. I just feel like. It's fair play, like make, getting the max scores is fair, and I know Rick loves his wrestle line. Out. You say core liked one as well. I just feel like stacking, stacking either the blitz or the gutter, and obviously I think probably the gutter shades it. It is is really good. Mm. Yeah. So where's his secondary on this team? Sorry, it's he's not got one. He just hasn't taken. Oh, yeah. I think he should have definitely dropped. 
definitely drop a wrestle and a DP, and then yeah, stack something either either two heads. Is uh, already got two heads. Sorry, sidestep on the gutter, mighty blow on the blitzer, or even claw on the rogue. Right? It's like it's wild. Oh yeah, scene. I could stack the rogue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought that. Art really like claw on the rogue. Uh, he, yeah. He's taken it on his build. He's taken claw on his rogue. Really? Yeah, because he mm. felt like Jugs was primarily for the one turn. Obviously, it adds to Wait, so he's not taking Jugs on his Rogue? No, no, he's just I taking... I mean, why Rogue. would you have a Rogue if you don't take... There you go. He, he doesn't care about the consistency, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. you know, he's gone for Claw, giving something against Lizards and Orcs and mm -hmm. Dwarves. Um, so, you know, he's, he's decided to go for Claw there. He didn't He didn't value the consistency of the Juggernaut and the one-turning of the Juggernaut. And I'm surprised to see Mr. Page, not known for his one-turning abilities, to take no, the Juggernaut. Yeah. When, yeah. Or at least not Claw Juggernaut, right? Or, or Block, or, you know, like, just something. I'm surprised. Who really swapped surprised. Mr. Page and Artemis' brains? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Uh, and he's gone for the Max Snotlings uh, for Swarming and four rerolls. But oh, he's gone three cheerleaders. Not not a good choice in most people's considered opinions. I think I think we saw Dion Lord or Diamed stack up four. Uh, Diamed, I think it was, didn't it? Stacked up four coaches, Can't was remember. it? Yeah. Somebody, Colian, and yeah. whoever it was, stacked up. Somebody four did four coaches. coaches. Yeah. Yeah. So now Pretty we've funny. got three cheerleaders. A bit useless, honestly. Cheerleaders, but uh, I two mean, coaches. Yes and no. Right. If you hit the like, a player gets mighty blow for the game or something. It's pretty incredible, it's I guess. A like, big uh, if, yeah. it's he, a he has four. It, it is, but the more wheels you have, the less the coaches are valued as well, right? Yeah. Uh, and I know that you can. The opponent still gets a wheel and stuff, so you still do value them highly. And don't get me wrong, I, I, I've taken a coach, obviously, but yeah, yeah. I think there, four there one, are some... maybe, maybe four one or three two in favor of the assistant yeah, coaches. Fair. But, but I, yeah. I think going favoring cheerleaders, I think, is definitely wrong. I mean, yeah, of fair. course, it's great if you get the mighty blow one. But the thing, the thing with uh, the thing with prayers and nuffle is, you could get, you could get, you could get moles. They're not good for me. <laughs> in fact, they're bad for me. <laughs> yeah, but but trap doors, you could get trap doors uh, as, as well. That's a, a thing as well. You know, they could be well. They're, they're basically nothing. They're basically nothing, sadly. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot that it just doesn't matter who wins. So yeah, I'm, I'm not so, so, not so keen on that. But uh, yeah, you know, it's still underworld, isn't it? They're still strong, and uh, yes, you know, he'll oh, probably yeah. he'll probably dice the pants off whoever he draws in the first round. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so far he's the second favorite of yeah. <laughs> all the teams I've seen. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um right, Moomin Slayer is is next up with Underworld again. Oh, okay, nice. Uh fa ah five fa ah Rick was talking about this. Rick was thinking about dropping a cuz Rick did you know Rick played Dionysian in a a, be a best of 3, a 100 quid best of 3. Wow. Uh yeah, just just to, early today, yeah, 60 40 cuz I I thought that Underworld were massive favourites over Lizard Men. And Dio didn't think they were that big favourites. And then Rick said he thought they were even more massive favourites. <laughs> so obviously Rick played uh, L L uh, Underworld with a 60 quid in and Dio played uh, Lizard with a 40 quid in. And, and, and Rick did, did win in the end. But anyway, sorry, this entire story, the point being that Rick was considering with this build that you can do, dropping a Snotling for a Goblin, but I just don't think it's worth it. I think the, the Snotlings are arguably even more viable than the, than the Goblins just as themselves, and especially because of Swarming. I think they are, so... Yeah, yeah. So there we go. Really there was a good, lot of story. Swarming is, is really good, and they, 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 you know, snotlings themselves are good, right? Dodging on two pluses, they help with a one turn, filling gaps. They, mm -hmm. they, they yeah. foul, uh, you know, cheaper than goblins. But I mean, you still, you still getting, you still maxing out on sixteen whether you go goblins or snotlings. Yeah. yeah. So that, that that's less of a point that their TV efficiency. But uh, yeah, they're very maneuverable. The sidestep can be annoying. Uh, defend mm -hmm. the one turn as well, right? They can defend the one turn with sidesteps. They can. So you, your your Skaven have animosity towards the goblins, but not towards the snotlings, as I found out last night when I snaked an animosity. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. There you go. So lots of reasons to to to, uh -huh. to max snotlings, but he hasn't max snotlings. He's only gone five. Art's gone four, and I was considering going four as well. But again, I don't have that much experience Same. with them. That that's the yeah. thing, and that's why I didn't go underworld. Um, and he's got lots of skills in the line. Again, no double here, has he? He's got juggernaut. Um, yeah, loads of skills. Yeah, yeah tackle, sidestep, and then which is is the fair, right? Like if if you were to play with them, right? Like my like the way I'll be using my team, obviously, is my linos aren't going to do that much. You know, if, if you're standing and like fighting, right? If you're do if you're taking lots of blocks with those players, then like fair enough, right? You might get the value out of them. Yeah, well, don't know if don't know what's happened to Elliot there. 
But uh, oh, have I gone? Oh yeah, you had you had gone, but you're back. You just oh. kind of like stopped mid sentence. Oh weird. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Not, nothing of value was lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let let's go to the next team then. <laughs> right. This is Underworld? Uh, the Puha. Uh, yeah, yep. uh, Underworld, yes. Underworld. Yeah. Oh, Force Notlings, yeah, wow. Wow, all these Force Notling people. Yeah. yeah. Guard Blitzer, Rick likes a Guard Blitzer. Block Rat Ogre. Bl Block Rat Ogre, well, I mean, you get the extra liability, I guess, in terms of, like, punching things. Um, yeah. Some more Vessel Linos. It's really a lot of people with Block on the Thrower. A Block on the Thrower, I have to make, completely confuses me, because... Surely you're not carrying on the thrower. <laughs> <You know. laughs> I guess they don't want to lose him as well, right? He's on I, I guess, I guess. And he's an extra block guy to hit things with us, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, he's got very yeah. pr protective, hasn't he, here? Like, you know, five defensive skills, yeah. essentially. Yeah. And, and guard is also kind of defensive. And then, obviously, high Oh, yeah, block on the gutter, get. too, yeah. Yeah. I mean, which is, in a way, it's kind of fair, because you think you're the strongest... Uh, you know, the strongest team or whatever, because you go in world, right? So maybe more defensive skulls, you know, keep people alive, less likely to get banged out and stuff. Mm. On the other hand, part of the reason you're the strongest team is because you have players that can do things. And like, we, we are, don't get me wrong, criticizing <laughs> block on a gutter runner, you, you can't really do right. But, you know, it, it is, but it's going to be the hardest one turn, you know, that, that there is, <laughs> right? Without mm. sidestep or, or, or two heads, so. Yeah, yeah interesting. And, and yeah, th see, th this is like the team build that, the, that kind of builds itself, right? In terms of you've got your four rerolls, you've got your Apo, and then mm. this is like, you know, if you go with a Rogue, this is like the maximum TV on pitch, isn't Well, not on yeah. pitch, maximum TV on roster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, so so I guess that was the thing, you know, if you drop these two, yeah. uh, one or two down, you, you're just getting assistant coaches, or in your case, dropping the Rogue down to then get the fifth reroll. You're getting something else out of it. But if you want mm -hmm. the Rogue, it's a, it is a tougher sell, I think, for people who don't play them to then think, well, I don't want to just you know, throw away 50 TV and what get assistant coaches and cheerleaders. So, I mean, Paige did it, but it's I think it's a hard sell on people less experienced. But, you know, having said that, Art is experienced with them. He has played them. I just haven't. I am, I, it's funny because I know they're good <laughs> and I don't want to play against them, but I'm just I'm not sure how I build them or how I play them at all because I just haven't, yeah. haven't got that experience. I out of all the teams in the game, they're probably one that you like. Say at least want to be with, just because they're so like weird and different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like I, th I feel like they're a lot different. Like obviously it's still yeah. blood ball, but I think there's a lot of new ones mm -hmm. there. That when you're playing these top coaches with top teams, low TV variants, close close coaching, I, I you know I, I I feel like the comfort that I have on dwarfs is going to matter a lot more than. Than the added win rate of of Underworld in my hands, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Anyway, here's Nick or Daz. He's also gone Underworld. We're getting a few yes. more Underworld. In yes, now. we are. Here they come. Here they come. Yeah. We, this is the weirdest one so far. I think we've got a Claw. Yeah. Skaven, a Claw, a Claw Blitzer, um, and uh, and a, and a two heads thrower. <laughs> got there in the Ooh. end. And uh, strip gutter. Wow. So this is this is spicy as heck, and the strip gotta like really suggests he's gonna be playing on defense, right? He's gonna be trying to like uh, destabilize and sack the opposition, uh, which is you know just fair enough. And you've got like thirteen, maybe fourteen players on your defense, so you know that could absolutely well happen. Um, but yeah, a bit weird. Yeah, and again, he's gone for this three cheerleaders, two coaches. I mean, they have changed the table oh, yeah. to, to only be eight and not sixteen. It was sixteen before, you know. It was the full. It was the full. Um... Oh. Prayers of Nuffle table. Now it's been changed to the D8 Prayers of Nuffle, and I'll be honest. Oh, I don't know what the difference is, to be honest. Neither do I. Neither do <laughs> no, I. So no. there might be maybe, more. They're, maybe they're really valuable. Yeah, and there maybe, might be more really selections where it matters who yeah, wins. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That is, that is a difference that I'll be honest, I'm completely ignorant of. Um, but I still feel like, you know, you've at least got to go more coaches, right? Even if you split it 3-2, I think I think it has to be assistant coaches. I think re-rolls are so good, especially with overtime. I really want, really, really want the extra, yes. the, uh, the yeah, extra re-rolls if that comes up. But uh, yeah, it's, it's Underworld. It's, it's, it's fine, isn't it? Even if the skills yeah. aren't, aren't what... I mean, it's wild. They're wild skills. They're wild They're skills. pretty wild. They're pretty yeah, wild. The, uh, the, the claw. The claw is the wildest one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Taking a skill that does pretty much nothing against Underworld is, is the... Yeah, is the yeah. Thing. Oh, my. That's incredible. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, 
Right, let's go to the next team. Noxa. Uh, I I remember I played him, didn't I, in uh, in the planes, and he has stuck with his yeah. lizard men. And this time yeah. he's added crocs. Guard to the yep. crocs. Yep, we, we have seen this one, haven't we? The guard crocs, the five blocks for us. Yeah, it's standard lizards, isn't it? Um, yeah. Not much to see here, really, to be honest. Sorry to gloss gloss over it. But we've, oh, yeah. Oh, we've yeah. said it before, that's it. Yeah. Um, Olivia Dulac is gone. Lats. Oh, Rats. no. What? Yeah. <laughs> we got into it. Got another <laughs> person doesn't wear the screenshot board. Is. <laughs> yeah, uh... so apparently not just Spanish people who take the screenshots. We've got French people taking screenshots, too. We've had two French people taking screenshots here. <laughs> With a mobile phone. <laughs> this, uh, this is why we Brexited. We don't know if he's got an apothecary or not. <laughs> we, we uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That's incredible. That's <laughs> hilarious. Uh, <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> is it, maybe it's intentional, right? Maybe, mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe the apothecary was over the TV. I'm only kidding, obviously. Jugs, 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 Mighty Blow Guard, Block. They just don't seem to get much, right? They just yeah. don't seem to get much. Uh, maybe, maybe it's just because like, I'm used to Underworld, right? I mean, 16 players, all that stuff. But yeah, they just, they just don't seem to get much. They do have four goals, of course, which is, which is really good. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I, 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 looked, I looked at Skaven because I thought... Mm, one turning matters, you know. Somebody mentioned mm, yeah. like one turning. And I'm like, yeah. Well, what what does Skaven look like? And I made the team. And I'm like, bleh. Yeah, you know, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. Olivia Dulac is like number one ranked NAF player yes. with Skaven, and he's uh, the, the rat guy, isn't he? Yeah, and the thing the thing we know about tabletop is PC went 10k TV over. Maybe Olivia Dulac <laughs> wins by going 50k over. With yeah, the, there, the we go, there we go. There we go. <laughs> just a joke yeah and that's again as Kaelon says he's played a few games right so this is he's got that familiarity that's adding percent that is adding wing percentage to it to his chances isn't it at the end of the yes, day yes for sure for even sure even if yeah. even if this isn't the best roster objectively for him subjectively you know that's yep. what he's more comfortable with and uh, he's been yep. in all these situations before similar with like PC on Dwarves and stuff isn't it we talk that, about that a lot it, you know it does count for a lot experience with a race Speaking of which, here's somebody with very little Underworld experience, but has taken them for their esteemed win rate. It is Oriolensis mm. with Underworld. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I this is my favourite other than mine so far. The two, two head sidestep, I think, is great. When I, when I, when I saw this, I was like, Whoa. I was actually, I was actually pretty happy because I was like, oh, well, that, that's validation for me, right? You know, because I was wondering about what to take. And I was like, oh, I, oh, we clearly think that's a good idea as well. So that was good to see. Uh, yeah, got, got. I like, I like the guard on the Blitzer because he's not got the guard troll, right? So that's, that's pretty cool. Yep. And then yeah, a, a bonus wrestle lineup like you said that could definitely be be handy. And then obviously gone for the the Rattler build is fair. Oh 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 oh! A weird number of snotlings though. Again, yeah. got five snotlings. The five snotlings. That's odd. Yeah, I, I, get, I think it's because you just don't want to waste too much. So you know, yeah like, yeah, I'm yeah wasting twenty five. I don't want to waste fifty, but I'll waste twenty five. And then and then you've got two and two, and you've got one in reserve, so that you'll you know you've got some yeah. things. Yeah, it's fair. I mean, you, you, with the Underworld, you, you're only ever getting the one shot at the three Snotlings, right? Because by the next kickoff, there will not be six Snotlings yeah. <laughs> left alive. Yeah. So fair enough, you're just missing that one uh, go at the three. But it's also more chance you keep the two for longer, right? And the more chance you keep the one for longer, so... Yeah, yeah, not terrible. Uh, great names as well. Absolutely great. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great pretty good, yeah. Great player names. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. And of course, the Yuligans, of course. Yeah, it's, it's the team. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing team name. Amazing player names. And pr pretty good build, you know, like, again. He, oh, yeah, sure. He hasn't got that experience within the world. And so maybe if he did, maybe he would have gone for the six. Um uh, but you know he's basically taking them because they're good, and and I yep. I very nearly That's did. Fair. I very nearly took yeah. nearly this exact list. Yeah, I was I was pretty close to this as well. This I was pretty close to taking this. Yeah, yeah. this exact yeah, good. I was pretty close to. Um, yeah. Right now we've got Plotinus with dwarves. Uh, oh, dwarves! Uh, <laughs> another might blow slayer. Double runner, bunch of guard, two block blitzers, night, two guard blitzers, night. So and they sign one block on the on the runner. Which is yeah, fair, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, but the block on the runner isn't bad, right? It's it's not bad at all. And uh, but I again, like I took it, I took a block with two runners in the uh, in the NAF kickoff. But you know, in retrospect, uh, I've ditched it and gone for an extra guard because I feel like you know you don't have to protect your ball carrier too much when you've got two of them. So. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I think I think you know I would have rather moved the guard over, but um, like moved the block over to an extra guarder, but t- a totally fine team. And uh, amazing how hard it is to tell what the hell it was, isn't it, with these colours and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, the, the tackle like, is just spectacular, right? Half red, half green is pretty <laughs> pretty incredible. <laughs> yep, yep, it's something. Yeah, yeah, three rerolls. You, you have to drop the reroll to get the extra the extra ting, which. Uh, you know, he could have. Oh no, he, he couldn't have it with a runner. So he, yeah, yeah. If you if you want the slayer, you've got to you've got to drop the four three roll. And I I really do like the four three roll. Do you have any idea how to turn on overtime in a friendly, Jimmy? Yes, Colian. No idea. I don't know if it comes yeah. by, by default at all or not, Colian. Yeah. I've got literally no idea um, about overtime. That is a problem, isn't it? Um, it is. <laughs> I don't know who you can ask who might have played friendlies. Um. Now that I think about it, maybe just maybe just at everyone. Oh, you can't at everyone. Ask the admins to at everyone in in the Blood Bowl three Discord and see if anybody's played over like played a friendly and, and not overtime because that's pretty important because we all need to be able to do that, don't we? So, you know, I, I would ask a lot of admins in various discords and and stuff to see if you can get because we we need that info. We all need that information desperately. <laughs> yeah, I I'm playing in forty five minutes, so I I guess I should find out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's pretty. That is maximum. I mean, well done for thinking of it. I guess, I guess we'd all come to that stumbling yes, block when we tried to stop the, start the match. But yeah, but it's super important. Yeah. Whew. Um. Oh, this is oh, oh, World Alliance. This is this is oh, my, well, this, this is my opponent. <laughs> oh, this is your opponent. And this is it the, is. Yes. This is the roster that I would have built. Really? Oh, yes. sorry. Oh, sorry. The roster. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. roster, not skills. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, roster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a bit dodgy, right? Thirteen players when two yes. of them are halflings. Yes, it's not quite as durable as I would have liked. But three yep. rerolls you've got to have. Apple, you've got to have all the positionals. And the reason that I took all positionals was all of the guard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I really liked it when you showed me yours. But yeah, the problem was the 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 lack of st- like stability with the low low actual player count. Yeah. So I feel like if you, you know, if so he's got three guard, hasn't he? And then he's just going to Mighty Blow Blitzer and a Mighty Blow Slayer. So I feel like the Mighty Blow Slayer he could have dropped, right? And then, mm-hmm. like, maybe he's added more linemen to, uh, to get oh, a bit more see, stability. Yeah. But, uh, like, I needed guard. I, I don't think you need a Mighty Blow Slayer if you've got a Mighty yeah. Blow Blitzer. Or maybe you don't need a Mighty Blow Blitzer. Um, yeah. But, yeah, blockers with guard, tackle Blitzer. And the sneaky get dirty player that can just win him. That can yeah, win game it's easily, pretty, can't pretty it? damn good. It's yep. pretty damn good. It's yep. pretty pretty terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's un- one player. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's it's like a WMD in the, in this kind of format. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just it's just unbelievable. It's it's yeah. actually unbelievable. It's like going to a NAF tournament and allowing a claw palm beast man. It's like uh, uh. it's a game changer. And and you, yeah, okay. There's a there's a one in seven chance he just gets sent off in the first foul, but even then he's probably removed an opponent as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, you know, and on, on, on the hand, he, you know, he doesn't have that one in seven on the first foul, and he, he ends up, you know, fouling yeah. for the whole half and removing half yeah. the team, and there you go, easy win versus anybody. <laughs> I mean, think of all the times just a dirty player has like just kept fouling, turn after turn, not getting sent off in Blood Bowl too. Now, now it's even harder to get. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I, it gets crazy. It's the best fouling has been for a long yeah. time, and yeah. and the fact you know, like stuff like lizard men. Are just going to get annihilated by it, right? They just you just gang foul, remove a Saurus, gang foul, remove a Saurus, and and yeah. you know, and now if you remove two Saurus, well now you're getting to gang foul for another six turns, <laughs> and you might remove a lot more, so you can end the game in the first half with with this with this uh, with this one player. This one player can end the game by himself, and that's that's quite a high roll potential to have. <laughs> um. Uh, just FYI, we've had a post in the the Discord for the competition ah, about how okay. to start your game. How do we spin in? So overtime and other settings are in place. Oh, we're spinning, are we? Yeah. Oof. 
Why not wow. put Sneaky getting dirty player on a half lane? Oh, that's a good idea, Brian. I didn't even think of that. I didn't well, even it's, think a, it's, a, it's a double, right? It's a double. Oh, it's a double. You, you yeah, that's you why. Can't. Yeah, yeah. That's, why. that's yeah. why I didn't think of that. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. I thought, I saw the stacking. Honestly, I saw the stacking and I thought, who can get them both on normals? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. In, instantly, and that, that's the only reason I even looked at All World Alliance. It was how do I get Sneaky Get Dirty uh-huh, player in, uh-huh. this, in this format? And so that is how I started thinking of it. Um, right, here's Rubble. Rubo um, with Nurgle. Oh, Nurgle, that's cool. Um, it's a lot of block. Yeah. Oh, like how is it like better than an orc team or something? You know, that's, that's or a lizard problem, team? Yeah. 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 yeah that's the problem. It's nice to see it. It's nice to see it. And, yeah. yeah. And again, maybe <laughs> qualified on Nurgle. Maybe he plays a yeah, lot of Nurgle. Yeah. Maybe Nurgle's what yeah. he likes. Um, you know, he's got thirteen players. He's got he's got eight regen, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's solid, he's, very solid. Very tough team, yeah. As solid as it gets, yeah. Yeah, very tough team, and he he does have block and and yeah, it's not what I would have done. But again, it, comfort matters a hell of a lot in the, in this, I think. So if that's what he's mm-hmm. comfortable with, that's probably yep. going to give him the best shot. Yeah. Run sure. bad, run bad. Oh, has gone, and uh, oh no, it's not a boring. It's not a boring uh, team. He's. Forgone the apothecary Ooh. and gone for an extra Ooh. player. Hmm, yeah. Yeah. Y- you have to like the papa, right? Yeah, because cause the sort that's going off is so big, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think I think I prefer the apple there. But it does mean that he's got uh he's got thirteen players, so he could foul a bit. Yeah, he could, he could. That could be an option. We know how much he likes to foul with guard uh Yeah, yeah, <laughs> guard big, big mistake not guarding the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he, he loves. He really does love a foul. So that could be it. Thirteen players, and yeah, obviously six block, really standard. But the the big thing for him is he hasn't got the apple. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, and also great to see run bad in. By the way, yes, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And now we've got Rusey with Black Orcs. Um, wow, another insane person. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a bit more of a mix on the Black Orcs this time. Wait, very mixed. Yeah. Uh, a bunch of different tools. Oh, we're going for the double. Sure, Hunter's Goblin. Fair, fair enough. Mm. Um, sneaky Git as well. Yeah, sneaky Git. And again, he's dropped two Goblins for the Apple and the Coaches and Cheerleaders. And I feel like yeah. if you're going Sneaky Git, load up on the Goblins. But I guess it's the same. I guess, you know, look, I don't play Black Orcs. So maybe it's the same kind of idea as the Lizard Men in that you don't lose a Saurus, you don't lose a Black Orc. So take the Apple yeah. for that. Um, yeah. But it's it's losing two, right? It's you lose one skink for the apple, but losing two goblins. Yeah, for the that's apple the thing. Trait two, anyway, two just seem a lot. Especially when you've got that angle of fouling that the that lizard men don't have so much. But um, yeah, it's interesting. Anyway, it's interesting. He's got some guard. He's got a block. He's got a tackler. He's got a mighty. Like he can do things. The mighty's a good blocker, right? With the with the brawler. He's going to try and set up blocks with a mighty blow, and then like blitz with a blocker or the tackler, isn't he? So. Uh, so I think it's okay having the mighty blower there, and uh, but yeah, I'd, I mean, crystals here saying something about black orcs. The point is, he could have taken plus two movement on every single player. <laughs> this, is, this is the thing. <laughs> yeah, so I am not on board with black orcs at all because yeah, they get a few more skills, but they're giving up two movement on every single player. Yeah. <laughs> Which does matter a lot, especially in Star. Right, oh my god, oh, no. here we go. This is the oh, worst one so far, it's probably all. <laughs> yeah, uh, well. Wow! This is max, oh no, not quite maximum armor seven. We've got, but yeah, we've got, we've got five, five AV sevens. Um, wow. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, wow. I mean, to be fair, he's like, he's, so he's not, he's not scored the Azaz Age, which I really like. And he's, he's managed to get a, a lot in despite that. Like, he's still got the three Blitzers, two Witches, right? So he has dropped a Blitzer. Yeah. And, and he's then he's like with the money he's got he's replaced a bunch of linos with uh, three sevens yeah and he's he's got two re-rolls and an apple but then he's yep. got leader so he puts up to three re-rolls oh yeah lead oh yeah leader oh well, that's that's kind of cool that's kind of cool yeah. yeah it's just it's just yeah do, just just do you really want assassins especially two of them right yeah. over over linos it's it's an interesting question but they are moving seven you know yeah. um so you know maybe he thinks he can protect them as well right you know so you're probably probably hanging out here because people don't have tackle mighty right. Almost no one will have tackle mighty. But uh, yeah, you can you can hang your blodgers out, can't you? Especially the blodge blitzers, maybe not the blodge witches. So 
Yeah, no wrestle witch either. He's got two blodgers, so he's a bit yeah. like him, knocking over ca- crucial pieces. Well, I, I guess that slightly improves the assassins, right? <laughs> you can you can <laughs> stab him. <them. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah and, yeah, and you can use the frenzy to like chain people in to stab him. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, did you know if you have a troll with frenzy on it in Blood Bowl three? And you use the frenzy. the The first hit you can just do a block, but the second hit is a, a mandatory vomit. Oh really? <laughs> mandatory? <Apparently, yeah. laughs> <That's hilarious. laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. It's absolutely that's hilarious. Pretty funny. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's there's Serafino's team anyway. And uh, is that Italian? Is that, I think that must be Italian, right? You must Maybe, be Italian. Maybe yeah. Forenze is. Uh, ah, oh it? yeah. Well, yeah. There you go. Predatory Forenze. I think so. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, sounds it, doesn't it? <laughs> it sounds uh-huh. a bit Italian. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. um, and here's Sergal. We know he's Spanish, and uh, he's wow, that's a lot of block. <laughs> a lot of block. Yeah, orcs. Uh-huh. Orcs is um, no apple. Twelve players. Troll. Yeah, yeah. It's basically troll or apple, isn't it? That 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 that's essentially the trade-off. Yeah. And yeah, lots of block. Wow, that's a lot yeah, of block. It's, it's it's solid. You have to worry about the lizards though, right? Because you don't have that guard edge on them without the extra guard, right? So yeah, yeah, feels even more susceptible to lizards than, than an orc usually is. Yeah, yeah, they they've got the same amount of block as you, more or less, <laughs> and they've got yeah. they've got more strength. And they're faster. <laughs> it's like, yeah. why are you not using lizards? Is is basically is basically the cry of of orcs, it, it, just in general, I think. But I guess at least yeah. if you go heavy guard, then you've got something a bit different or whatever. But yeah, the, my my problem remains with every orc build is it's not lizard men. <laughs> it, it is. I, I'm sadly gonna have to love you and leave you at that point because I need to go and do some stuff before my game. So uh, thank you, thank you very much for Jimmy being fun and. Uh, Good luck. Good luck with your game this evening. Thank you very much. And yeah, good luck with yours, Elliot. Yeah, yours is Thank you very much. soon, isn't it? Glorious. It is. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> Bye. Thanks very much, Elliot. That was that was absolutely great having Elliot join there. Um So yep, yeah, so he is yeah, this, so this is my this is my problem with my, my, my problem with every org team is why isn't it lizards? Um so there we go. He is Sifonero with... This is going to be harder now by myself to, to identify these teams. This is Chaos Renegades. Three big guy Chaos Renegades. Um, he's got Claw. He's got a double for Claw on the Roger. And then he's got Guards on the Troll and the Ogre. And uh, what's that? Dodge. <laughs> Dodge on the Dark Elf. Tackle on the Skaven. And a couple of blocks. Uh, wrestle. And is this strip ball? I think this is strip ball. So, um, not what I would have done. But again, maybe look, maybe he qualified with Chaos Renegades. Maybe he plays loads of Chaos Renegades. Maybe, you know, this is what he's comfortable with. It, maybe he just thinks, you know, three three big guys high rolling is, is a good strategy. And he has got a lot of skills. They're not the, the, you know, some of the amount of skills I would have taken, but he's got a lot of skills. Uh, he's got a, the claw roger could just tear teams apart, couldn't it? Um, not a fan, but there you go. <laughs> oh, wow, another another screenshot team. It's lizards. It's completely standard. Uh, so yeah, again, he's gone for the twelfth player on the third reroll. Smills all. Um, you know, totally totally bog standard. Six blocks Aurus. Uh, nothing to see here except congrats for qualifying, I guess. And you know, it's, it's a lizard man team. Obviously, everyone, congrats to everyone for qualifying with his team. Uh, here's Strider84, a tabletop veteran, and he's gone for exactly the same team. Um, so, yep, yeah, there you go. It's Lizards. I mean, Lizards are a pretty good team. Lizards are a pretty good team. Let's, let's not beat around the bush here. I was hoping people wouldn't take it because I feel like their matchup versus Underworld isn't so good, but they're still strong, so, uh, you know, people are still going to take them. But again, I've got the comfort with Dwarves, which is why I went with that. But, yeah, fair play to Strider here with some Lizards. I've got talk, talk, talk with a widescreen, a very widescreen monitor here. Talk, 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 and uh, this is Old World Alliance. This is, I think, the same roster that I've got, which is that I was going to go with, which is full positionals, including two halflings uh, for the bench. The bench is two halflings, three rerolls, an apothecary. He's got four guard. 
uh, which isn't as many as he could have had. But he's got four guard. He's got a mighty blow troll slayer. He's got a tackle uh, human blitzer. He's got a block. Well, a blodge catcher, a block human thrower, and a dirty player halfling. So his double's gone on dirty player halfling. Don't like that. Don't like that. But, uh, you know, talk, talk, talk. He knows how to play. And, he, you know, loads of skills for these tier four teams. So that's uh, super interesting, as K1 would say. Now we've got Ungern. Ungern, the mad lad. Uh, <laughs> he's, a, he's, he's had some. He's had. He's, he's a wild player. Sometimes he plays like a completely normal top tier coach, and sometimes he just goes crazy. Um, he has taken a bit of a crazy team in terms of it being Old World Alliance, and he's gone with the ogre rather than the tree. He's dropped. Um, he's dropped some positionals to get more human linemen. Um, so he's only got one halfling on the team. He's got four guards, which is nice to see. A blodge catcher. He stacked mighty blow tackle on the blitzer. So, see, now I considered this, but the reason I dismissed it is sneaky get dirty player is better <laughs> and can kill a whole team. And then he's got a human with dirty player and... Uh, that's it, you know, probably do all right, probably do all right. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, it's all the lines. I'm going a bit quicker now because, you know, it's uh, I'm just on my own. But it, it was great having Elliot as well, yeah, for sure. Here's Veli, the bashiest team. A great, a classic team name. And he's gone for pretty much the, the, the standard human team, right? 13 players, Apo, three re-rolls. He's got a sneaky git catcher. I, I'm a fan of that. I, I like that more than a lot of the other human teams. We, he's gone for the mighty blow blitzer. I, I'm still not a fan of that, but you know, three guard, mighty blow tackle block, that's all pretty standard. Um, so, yeah, we've got that. And then, that, it's not the last one, we've got World Sitar as well. We've got World Sitar with Black Orcs, and he's got five guards, so he's gone, he's gone, gone. but again, he's a. Uh, He's gone for this. Oh, he's got the apple. He hasn't got a troll. He's got a troll. How has he got so much? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I was being stupid. He's, he's got 12 players. I thought he had 14 players. He's got 12 players. He's again, he swapped the two players for the apothecary and the four. But I don't know why I thought he had. I don't know why I, I don't know why he thought I thought he had 14 players as well. He's he's got for the other. So I think there's been four Black Oak teams, and three of them have gone for 12 players. But I do prefer the 14 players personally, I think. I mean, again, this is somebody with no experience of Black Oaks. Um, I just think, you know, leaning into the fouling and trying to hire all people is better. He's gone for a double for pro and not block. That's interesting, isn't it? That's a, that's a decision and a half. Um, a mighty blower for just punching people, I guess. And then the sneaky git for fouling. There you go. And uh, we've got another one. We've got, even after the W, we've got a Z player. We've got Zahu with Skaven. Uh, this is looking very much like Olivia Deluxe team, I believe. Oh, so I guess there's no Apothecary on Olivia Deluxe team. I can't remember how many players he had. He might have an, he might have an Apothecary, he might not. Um, but we've got a Juggernaut Roger, Tackle Blitzer, Guard Blitzer, Block Block. Is that Strip? Probably. And he's got a just a rookie, just a rookie uh, gutter as well. So that's interesting. Dulac had the apple for sure. Thank you. Uh, I couldn't. Oh, it had the bin. Oh, of course it had the bin. So that's how you knew there was an apple. Brilliant. So we could tell that there was an apple. Fantastic. So there you go. That's good. That's good for every, everybody knows. Thanks to uh, thanks to chat there. Sorry, I don't have chat on screen because you know I've, it's been a bit of a last second thing that I've just thrown together. Um, so there's, there are a few more teams now to go through. The last few teams, we're going to look at the PDFs that people have submitted here. So, you know, excuse these. These will not look so good. Um, so this is Bright, and he's taken Lizard Men, and he's gone three block, three guard. And uh, that's that's not normal, is it? <laughs> three rerolls, Apple, 11 players. So yeah, that's that's wild. That's a lot of guard. That's very atypical of 
lizard men teams. Um, but Bright, we all know Bright's a good player. There's loads of good coaches. You know, most of these we know, and we know they're pretty good. And uh, now we've got Fricape with humans. And he's gone. Ah, look, I like this more. I like this more. I like this probably the most. We've got four guarders. We've got the tackle. Rookie thrower, then a block catcher and a sneaky kick catcher. Um, three rerolls, 13 players, apothecary. So yeah, I like not having the mighty blow. I really, do, I don't rate the mighty blow blitzer at all. I feel like if you want a, uh, if you want a, you know, a, a damage blitz, do it with your ogre. Um, but there you go. And then we've got Larry here. GG Larry, GG Larry. He's gone with orcs, and we've got. Three block biggins, a guard biggin, a tackle blitzer, a mighty blow blitzer, 12 players, three re-rolls. So this uh, this looks somewhat similar to Davos, except he's got a little bit less. Uh, he's gone like, he's. Yeah, it's a little bit different. <laughs> it's not really the same, but more or less the same team name. Like, it's more or less the team, same team with a thrower and the troll and stuff, rather than dropping the troll for an apple. Um, well, there you go, that's that. And then Necronome is the final participant here, and he's gone Lizard Men, 11 players, 3 rerolls, and an Apo, and he's swapped 1 block on the Saurus, so we're going to go 5 block for a guard on the Croxador. There you go, though, I do apologise for, for that, there was no alternative, um, because, you know, this was done at the last second. Uh, so there you go, there's all the teams, and... Uh, you know, there's just really limited time to set everything up and stuff. So there's all the teams done for you. I want to have it. Still took a while, didn't it? Flip me. Um, right. So there you go. So uh, that that's it for all the teams. Now matchups wise, there's some crazy matches in that are coming up. Um, I can maybe have a look here and tell you some of the matchups that are happening. Um, Bear with me, please. So there's four rounds. There's going to be four rounds. So what I'll do is, I'll do like a, I'll do a preview of each round, like you know, apart from the first round. But looking at it, you know, we, I'll, I might do the big name ones, right? We've got Strider versus Seabros. That's that's a big one, isn't it? Um, we've got, we've got myself. My first game is versus Mr. Page. Which is amazing, isn't it? That's like that's pretty unbelievable. So obviously I'll stream that myself. Uh, Aurelensis versus Diomlo, that's a big one. Noxa versus Devo, maybe. Velahopia versus Crucifer, that's amazing, isn't it? So um, yeah, you know. So I'll I'll try and do a few, right? But the thing is, like, there's so many games that the <laughs> the the time that we have to play each game. Is, yeah, I'll put the link. I'll put the link in. Uh, there's no reason that the that that is won't be public. I'll I'll post the link there in the description and stuff. So um so yeah so th I think they're the highlights matches that are happening. I'll try and cover those and put them on YouTube as well. Uh, but yeah, you know, like there's 28 games to be played in three days, basically in two days actually, because the three day deadlines overlap. So the rounds are lasting 48 hours. So there's a lot of games to get through. So I'll, I'll probably just cast the biggest ones if they don't clash. Um, so there you go. Anyway, right. I'll, I'll 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 cover all the questions in the comments. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.